Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. It was so nice outside. I couldn't believe how warm it was. Uh, so I hope you got to be outside. I know we were out, my family, we were outside riding bikes, playing basketball. I did some gardening, did some planting, which I love to do. It always makes me feel like it's definitely springtime. So while I was doing that, it got me to think of the book that I wanted to read for you today to start off our week. And it is called Over in the Garden by Jennifer Ward. So there's the book we're going to read today. Now, as I go through the pages, boys and girls, there are numbers hidden on the pages. And on the first page, I'll show you uh, where that is so that when you look at each page, you can see if you can find the number. Now, I cannot find number six and number 10. So you guys are gonna have to see if you have some good eyes and you can spot them because I can't find them. Um, and you can always, sorry, you can always pause the video um, as I'm reading, so you can always pause the video so you have time to look at the page if you don't spot the number right away so that you can try to find the number before continuing on. All right, let's get into our story. Okay. Over in the garden, in the early morning sun, lived a mother praying mantis and her little mantis one. Pounce, said the mother. I pounce, said the one. So they pounced and they hunted in the early morning sun. So here's the pages. See if you can find the number one and then I'll show it to you so you know what I mean. See how there's a number one right here hidden on the leaf? Okay. So as you go through each page, we go through each page, see if you can find the number hidden somewhere on the page. All right. Over in the garden where the sunflowers grew, lived a mother ladybug and her little beetles too. Crawl, said the mother. We crawl, said the two. So they crawled over the petals where the sunflowers grew. So you're looking for a number two here. Remember, you can always pause it to come back and look at the page. Over in the garden near the old shady tree, lived a mother dragonfly and her little dragons three. Zip, said the mother, we zip, said the three. So they zipped and they zoomed near the old shady tree. I'll bring this a little closer here. Let's right, see if you can find the number three. Over in the garden on the damp earthy floor lived a quiet mother snail and her baby snails four. Slither, said the mother. We slither, said the four. So they slithered and they slid on the damp, earthy floor. Let me find a number four. Over in the garden where the apple blossoms thrived lived a colony of bees and their little bees five. Buzz, said the workers. We buzz, said the five. So they buzzed and they flew where the apple blossoms thrive. See if we can find a number five. Over in the garden where the vines and berries mix lived the little mother spider and her baby spider six. Jump, said the mother. We jump, said the six. So they jumped through the garden where the vines and berries mix. I'm going to show this. I cannot find the number six on this page. So give yourself a, let me see if I can, oops, sorry. I'm moving my hands a little bit. Ah! See if you can find it. I'm going to have to go back and look. Okay. All right. Over in the garden where the flowers grow toward heaven lived a mother butterfly and her caterpillar seven. Nibble, said the mother. We nibble, said the seven. So they nibbled and they climbed where the flowers grow towards heaven. So. Over in the garden by the old wooden gate lived a mother roly-poly and her little babies eight. Roll, said the mother. We roll, said the eight. So they rolled and they curled by the old wooden gate. Look for number eight. Yeah. 
Over in the garden on a long curly vine crawled a group of soldier ants and their little workers nine. March, said the soldiers. We march, said the nine. So they marched and they crawled up the long curly vine. Over in the garden where the moon shines again lived a mother firefly and her little beetles ten. Glow, said the mother. We glow, said the ten. So they glowed and they flashed where the moon shines again. I couldn't find number ten on this page, so let me hold this up. Oops, trying to block my fingers there. See if you can find a number ten. Okay. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope you can get outside today. It's a beautiful sunny day. A little windy, but it's still so nice. So an activity that you could do with this book, since it's such a nice day out and I think it's springtime, and you may have already done this with your families, but you can go on a scavenger hunt. So you can create your own scavenger hunt of things you would find outside. Uh, it could be garden related. It could just be, think of your neighborhood, things you might find. Uh, American flag that might be on someone's house or um, flowers by the mailbox, uh, someone's mailbox with the flag up. So you can think of all kinds of things you would see outside walking around your neighborhood. You can create a scavenger hunt and you can go on it or you could just create one that you would give to somebody to do, okay? And if you're able to do that, you can send me a picture of listening to the story or let me know where you find number six or number 10. Uh, and you can also send me a picture of your scavenger hunt if you would like to. All right, boys and girls, I will be back. Get outside today. I'll be back with a story tomorrow. See you later.